Muy buenas a todos chicos, bienvenidos a una nueva entrevista de la LEC, en este caso estoy con Alfari, top laner de origen, que acaba de ganarle al Shelke 04. First of all, thank you Alfari for, for your time and, and for being here. You just won against uh, Shelke uh, to close a 1-1 one, one week for you guys. So, how do you feel after this match and this week in general? Specifically on this match, you had a pretty bad matchup with the Renekton against Queen. Yeah, um, I mean, I feel okay because we won. I think that we have like a lot to improve on based on these two games. Um, this game, I'll say, we like misplayed the early game a little bit, and draft could have probably been like quite a bit better. Um, and um, yeah, then yesterday there was just like a lot of mistakes. Hmm. So I'm not like over the moon. But I'm 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 feeling fine. It's just like regular season, and we still won, so yeah, I'm I'm feeling okay. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the this beginning of the split, you guys had some great matches against like the best teams like uh, G2 or Fnatic, but you had some strange losses against SK Gaming or Misfits, for example. So what can you tell me about again, uh, about these these matches? What do you think that went wrong? Um. Well, I don't know exactly what went wrong in every game. I think that generally we are still trying to figure out the meta or the meta and especially what works well for us. So I think that in most of the games we lost, we had drafts which were just like harder to execute than the enemies or drafts which we haven't had enough practice on in scrims. Mm -hmm. Um, not necessarily bad drafts, just like harder drafts hmm. to work with, which, I mean, it's just something we are not good enough to do right now. Um, so I think we are still trying to figure ourselves out, and I think this is part of the reason in general why the LEC like, standings are all over the place. Yeah. Just because, <laughs> um, yeah, the meta is kind of wild, and teams are trying to figure out what works for them. You mentioned the meta, and that was uh, one of my questions. You played six different champions on these seven first games, so I want to ask you if you are happy with the top lane meta specifically, and I want to ask you uh, and know your opinion about the Bolivia rework that is uh, getting a lot of uh, popularity on, on top lane and also in jungler. Um, right now, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the top lane meta. Mm -hmm. It's the matter is kind of strange. There are like so many different picks in every different region. I feel like um, I see like so many different blind picks. Like there's like Jace and Camille and Renekton and Aatrox and all these different blinds. Mordecai, uh, I think there's like an Urgo blind yesterday and LCK too. This it kind of feels like you just kind of play what you want to play <laughs> to an extent. Um, so that's kind of nice, but it's also like a bit weird. And then, so I forgot the other half of your question, but yeah, I'm just talking that is nice. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, you are considered one of the best top laners actually in the league, uh, if not the best. Uh, we saw some new talents of this split on the LEC and people that improve uh, a lot, for example, uh, Orome, and we saw like new faces like Cry. So what do you think about the level of the top lane in, in Europe? And also, are you surprised with any of the top laners of, of the league? I am surprised by Kreis. I did not think that he would be like particularly good based on you know the other recent rookie top laners. Mm -hmm. They were very unimpressive, uninspiring, I would say. But I think Kreis has a lot of potential. And he plays um, just aggressively. He tried he tries to win lane and mm -hmm. tries to like go for counter picks and <laughs> be like a positive influence on his games yeah. rather than just there which I like so yeah, I guess he's surprising overall though I would say that the level of top in LEC right now is quite low mm -hmm. um, I feel like I mean I think one and people are obviously like very good players but I think that they are not in like great form right now and then Nearly every other top laner, if not every other top laner, is like also not 
like great in my eyes <laughs> right now either. Um, you mentioned the Rome improving, which I, I don't agree with very much. I think just Mad Lions as a whole <laughs> are, are, have improved. Um, so yeah, just I don't I'm, I don't think top level in LEC is very good. <laughs> Um, and I think Kreis is uh, actually like solid though. I think like Kreis, Prepo, Wanda, these guys are these guys are good. Mm -hmm. uh, talking more good. more generally about the um, about the team about Origin, you didn't change uh, the lineup, uh, but did you personally or in a collective way change something to have a even better run this split and and go for that world spot and and even well, uh, win the the title? Um, not so much. We didn't really change much. We just kind of used, or are using, our first split to just try and identify exactly what went wrong in playoffs for us, mm -hmm. and um, in particular, which we have like pretty good ideas about what went wrong. Um, and obviously now we're trying to fix it. Um, I don't want to like go into too many details about what we are trying to improve, but. It's not like we made like big changes. Obviously, he said we have no roster change. We haven't got many staff changes either. Mm -hmm. um, we're just kind of approaching it in a very similar way. Just now we have a better understanding and um, just better synergy. Mm -hmm. uh, related to my last question, what can we expect from you guys this, this split? I guess yeah, that you are aiming to, to Worlds and, and also even winning the, the league. Definitely, these are our goals. Um, I would really like to win the split. I think that going to Worlds is a little bit more realistic right now. Mm -hmm. I would say that we have very solid chances to make it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, nothing is ever set in stone, and the standings are pretty crazy right now, and we have a lot to improve on still. Mm -hmm. But I would say that going to Worlds is realistic for us, and it should be like our main goal, and then Obviously, if we can win the split, this is like another goal. Um, it should be nice, <laughs> but you know, just make it to worlds would be would yeah. be ideal. Uh, also, if you make two worlds, are uh, is there any top laner that you are particularly excited to to play against of the of the other leagues? Uh, I mean, honestly, just like most. Korean or Chinese top players I'll be excited to play against simply because I haven't played internationally in so long. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice to just play against like international opponents for once. Yeah. If I had to say in particular, I think Noguri and Khan play super aggressive during lane and off and play the counter pick a lot and just kind of destroy the enemy top laner. Um, even though sometimes they like go a little bit too aggressive and they hit a little bit, especially Noguri, I still find these playstyles <laughs> really exciting and like definitely more respectable than just you know sitting back and not even trying to win lane, which a lot of top laners sadly do. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Noguri and Khan are really fun players, and I like to play against them, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, finally, we saw some teams doing a lot of improvement this split, and we are having quite a crazy uh, LEC sp uh, split so what do you think about the current level of the of the league in in general terms um i mean i would definitely say that like the lower teams are mm -hmm. better i think they made a lot of good roster changes mm -hmm. i already mentioned like the Kreis one and sk obviously improved their roster too um, Misfits improved their roster, so I think that a lot of teams during the break made good changes. So this is like also why it's more competitive. Yeah. Um, so I suppose like the lower end is strong right now, but I think that I mean there's like no clear like favorite team I would say. Yeah. I guess maybe Mad you could argue because I mean they just look the best I suppose after like three weeks, but. I think that the like best teams are not as strong as like you know historically right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I expect that to change like pretty quickly, to be honest. 
at least like I would be pretty surprised if G2 and Fnatic wouldn't start ramping up um, at least like near playoffs. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alfari, for, for your time. Y a vosotros recordaros que tenéis muchas más entrevistas en el canal de YouTube de Sport Maníacos y que si os ha gustado podéis darle like y, y comentar a ver qué, qué os ha parecido. Muchas gracias. Uh, goodbye, uh, Alfari. Bye.